After weeks of heavy snow in the Korean Peninsula, a roof collapse has killed at least nine South Korean college students. The tragedy happened in the remote mountain town of Gwangju at a resort popular with tourists. According to the BBC, students were attending an orientation concert when the roof fell in. The Korea Herald reports more than 70 students were injured in the collapse and at least 15 were still trapped almost four hours later. With more than 500 students in attendance, a student told the Herald, a lot of people rushed to the exit when the ceiling collapsed. Some were trampled. It was very chaotic. Adding to the chaos were impassable roads leading to Gwangju, with rescue efforts arriving nearly 30 minutes after the collapse. In the past few weeks, South Korea's east coast has seen close to record snowfall, and northern regions have gotten more than three feet of snow. But it's not just South Korea that's being buried. Due east, Japan has seen one of its snowiest months in more than 60 years. The island nation has received 19 inches in February, and more snow in the forecast could break the 30-year record of 22 inches. For Tokyo, this winter has been a colossal outlier. This is in a city with a climate very similar to the southeastern U.S. Tokyo only averages about four inches of snow per year, very similar to Atlanta. And in the capital, relentless snowstorms have choked the roads and canceled more than 600 flights out of the city, NBC reports. The storms have killed at least 13 across the country. Back at the resort, injured students were taken to hospitals in neighboring Olsen, nearly 20 miles away. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.